what's up guys it's Terrence and we're back with another video in this video we are actually over at the bunker and I'm going to be showing you how to hit bunker shots from the very beginning if you've never actually hit one before I show you the setup and everything you need to know so let's just go ahead and get right into it all right guys so the first order of business is the rule in the bunkers the rule in bunkers whenever you're playing in tournament play playing out here casually at a course you can do whatever but tournament play before you take the shot out of the bunker you cannot physically touch the club the bottom of the club or whatever part of the club to the sand so say I'm in a tournament if I set up to a ball and I touch the sand with my club that is a stroke penalty and um, it'll cost you so you at all times you want to make sure the club is above the sand kind of floating in there you can get it as close to the sand as you want, so you get more of the feel of a regular shot, but you can never actually touch the sand. Second thing that is most need to know is this setup. The setup is probably the biggest part of it because if you don't set up correctly, you'll never hit the ball good out of the sand. So first thing is your feet. Your feet, you never want to aim at the pin. You always want to make sure your feet are open and aimed left of the pin. This is only because as you take your swing, you have an open club face at the bottom with whatever club it is that you're using. You always want to open the club face if you're by the green. Now out of the fairway, it's normal. You hit it, normal shot. But if you're by the green, you have your open club face. You come into the ball across it. So it'll look, you go back kind of normally maybe a little bit steeper and as you come in you come kind of over the top somewhat and it helps you really slide under the ball and um helps you get it on plane and all the stuff it'll real it it really works so the other important thing that is needed to know is where behind the ball to hit the sand so if i was to draw a line i'd say with this shot it's about a 15 yard shot maybe less than that probably 10 yards I, if i was to draw a line behind the ball where i would hit the sand i would draw it about two inches two inches is about the number that you want to hit the ball behind the sand so every time i take a swing into the ball i'll draw the line a little bit further back here anytime i take a swing into the ball i'm going to want to hit the sand right by that line see how you get right in front of it there and that will help you really get lift on the ball and get it out of the bunker and because um, if you hit the ball per se we'll draw the line up here if you hit the ball say the ball is right here if you hit right on the ball it'll send it flying out of the bunker really really far and you don't want that it will get tons of backspin but you really mostly only want to do that on a very long bunker shot so you always want to hit about right where this one was, just right on that two inch mark. Now, you can't ever actually draw the line unless, unless if you were practicing, and I actually recommend that for practicing, where you can take an alignment stick and put it about three inches, and you want to hit just in front of that alignment stick, or you can do whatever like that, but I recommend drawing the line because it really helps. You can really see where you're hitting, and, um, if you really want to get technical, you can actually measure two inches, but I just play it by sight. And the last thing is how you want to swing. You always want to swing a little bit harder in a bucket. So like this, my normal 10-yard chip would be about like that. Just nice little swing. Out of a bunker, it would be more that. You splash it out. I will hit a couple here in just a minute, but so you always want to swing just a little bit harder than you normally would because you have an open club face and you are cutting across the ball. Because the and you're also hitting the sand behind the ball, so it takes a lot off of it. So if you were to step up and hit from a side view, it would look something like this. So I got the line right there. Just want to hit right on that line. I hit the flagstick. That was, I hit 
just a touch behind the line, but it ended up okay. Got about a six footer for my putt. So you just want to make sure you get that two inch line. I actually personally, because of the way I hit bunkers, I go a little bit closer than two inches. But starting out, I recommend two inches. So I go about an inch, maybe even closer than that. Really open the blade almost as much as I can. And I really, you don't have to do this, but I dig my feet into the sand to get great grip. I mean, it works. Open stance, really open blade. Just picks it right out of there. And the way I hit bunkers, I get height. Most bunker players, you'll see, they hit it really low, and it's really hard for them to play high lip bunkers. Because I've seen pros on TV, they've played four foot tall bunker lips that are about six foot in front of them. They can't get over them because they don't know how to hit a high bunker shot. So the way I hit them, it really gets some nice height on them. So I am left of the flag, open blade, swing harder than normal. Oh, that one is sitting right by the cup. So it's very simple, very easy, and you can really practice them. I mean, you can get sand just about anywhere and you can make a little sand pit in your yard or if you do live on a golf course like me, it's very easy. You can just walk over here, practice them. But I, re I recommend drawing the one inch line and uh, practicing with that so you can really get the feel for them. All right, guys, so this next section of the video is going to be slow motion video so you can get all the details that you need to hit great bunker shots. So let's go ahead and roll it.
All right, guys, so that is going to wrap up today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned because I am actually going to be doing a series on the bunker shots. I'm going to be starting with this video, and I'm going to be going to longer greenside bunker shots, lip shots where your ball is up against the lip of the bunker because those might be the hardest, and then fairway bunker shots. Fairway bunker shots are, I'd say, the second hardest compared to the lip bunkers. That's pretty hard. And then last but not least, I'm going to be doing the downslope bunker shots. Those are pretty hard. So I hope you stay tuned for those. And if you like today's video, go down there, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of more of my videos. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.